Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a HomeSense slash TK Maxx Halloween haul. I did say that the last one was going to be the last one of 2019 but I keep finding more stuff. <laughs> so if you like these types of videos please consider subscribing and I will get into the video now. So I have four items to show you today. Two of them are for me and two of them for are actually for other people so I'll go through the items that I picked up first and the first one is this set of hand towels and I did go to a different TK Maxx for these I wasn't specifically looking for these I didn't even know they had them but I did go to the TK Maxx in Winchester and I found these and there were two sets of them and they also had orange ones that said boo like embroidered across the bottom which looks really nice but i really liked this design i haven't taken them out the packaging yet so i could show you how they were wrapped up but there are two of them and they do seem to be quite thick so they are thicker than the tea towels that they do and that's the brand of it as well i'm not sure if that will help anyone this one and it does just say hand towel set includes two decorative hand towels and they are 100% cotton and it does have this black ribbon going around it and these ones did cost me £7.99 which is a bit more than I'd usually pay especially as right at this moment I don't really need hand towels but I just loved the design of them so there's the price tag there and I will just open these up so I can show you because they do have the plastic thing attaching them so I've just taken out one for now because the other one is literally exactly the same and straight away they feel like such a nice quality the print is amazing I'll just show you an overview of what they look like so as you can see the main kind of color is more of a cream color with this almost damask Victorian swirly pattern in the background and then printed on top there are these really cute bats and it is a black print onto the background there's a skull here and further down there is a pumpkin and there are also witches hats as well and that print is just repeated and as you can see they are a decent size as well so as i said i mainly did get this for the print i really really like it i really like the kind of old-fashioned designs that they do i also have like a book of spells thing over there which is like one of those like kind of fake wooden signs and i really like the pattern of it i wonder if i can just show you because otherwise you'll have no idea what i'm talking about it's that one there i really like things with that kind of design so this really reminded me of it and I haven't found anything kind of in that style this year. So I did really, really like these. On the other side is just kind of a standard hand towel material. As I said, they are a nice thickness. They are thicker than the other tea towels that they do. But yeah, so that's the first item I picked up. I also really like the amount of detail that's in like all the bat wings. I just think it's really really pretty and I didn't actually see these posted in the Halloween UK group they were just something I saw in the shop and I was like oh my gosh I need that you also could get these for like as I said the material so you could make cushion covers out of these I'm not sure what I'll do with them I think for the moment I'll just put them under my bed like in a box which is like my future one because I think this as an hand towel would be really really nice but I do also quite like the pattern so maybe i would make one into a cushion and keep the other one as a hand towel those were the first ones that i did pick up the second one that i picked up was actually one that i got today and i did just have a quick look to see if they had anything new they didn't have anything as far as decorations in the home sense bit upstairs but in the tk max like beauty area they did have these really cool bath bombs and i love the packaging of this label I think it's like super pretty so that's what they look like also has like a kind of iridescent kind of finish to it and you do get six in there these were five pound 99 
which I would say is a good price for these because you do get six in here. So it's kind of like one pound per bath bomb, which I think is really good. I'll just see if I can take this packaging off. So as you can see, you do get two orange ones, a purple one, a white one, and then two green ones. On the back, it does say that they are plum scented. So they all have the same scent. They're just in different colors. The only thing that I found a bit disappointing, and I did know this before I did buy them, but these kind of spooky details, like the pumpkin face, the bats, and the witch, they are actually only on the packaging rather than being on the bath bombs themselves so they are plain but i didn't mind that too much because you use them in your bath anyway but it would have been quite cool to have this printed on the bath bombs rather than just on the plastic packaging so yeah as i said you do get six in there and i think for the price that is really really good i know lush have bought out their halloween collection and i did show in a previous video that i picked up the pumpkin bath bomb but that one alone cost me nearly five pounds or four pound fifty or something like that so to get six for 5.99 i feel like is a really good price they are kind of a standard bath bomb size they're not too small or anything i have had the halloween bath bombs from tk maxx before and i think for the same price i got two big bath bombs and a smaller one because they were in like the coffin packaging so i do feel like this is better value for money i was just really happy to pick those ones up i haven't seen these ones so far i just found them today so this is probably one of the newer ones they are releasing for the last two they are kind of the same but a little bit different so basically i went up into home sense because my tk maxx is like the bottom layer is tk maxx and then you go up the escalator and it's home sense <laughs> so i did just go and have a look and i found they were doing the cookie jars that quite a few people were looking for so i did post on the halloween uk group just saying is anyone after these because i don't mind if someone like paypals me i can send it out to them if they can't find it in their own one which i have done previously with like the cushion that someone sent me i did get a message back the next day saying that this one lady was interested so i did pick up one for her and then another lady commented on the same photo saying that she was after the one with the skull top and when i went back the next day they also had the skull ones so i did pick up one of each and these are to send out and this is what they look like they are super cool and like if I had my own house and like a kitchen then I would definitely pick one of these up for me but at the moment I just don't have room. I do have the trick or treat yourself one from last time that I actually keep pocket bags in <laughs> but yeah I think these are really really cool and I think for the price they're such a good deal. They are quite plain but I think overall they have a really like effective look. So as you can see it is mainly a white colour and it does say feeling wicked on the front. This is just on the front and it's not actually on the back. But I think the font they've used for this looks really nice as well. And then the lid comes off like that and it does have one of those like rubbery things around so it's not gonna scratch the ceramic. And then the lid is a witch hat. And they did do different variations of this in black and white but this one has the black witch hat on top and it is by the company the bakehouse and co which i think i got something from um i think it was the like bat water bottle flask thing so they do tend to use the same companies and that's what the label looks like it is a coffin shape which is really cool and this one was five pound 99 I think they've got some really nice kitchen items this year but as I said I just don't have the room for it so I did pick this up for someone in the Halloween UK group and this will be going out to her and then for the other lady I did pick up the skull version so this one is exactly the same size I'd say it is a really really good size especially as I said for the price it is $5.99 the same as the other one but this one has creeping it real written on the front instead of feeling wicked <laughs> and as i mentioned it does have a skull on top and this one is in white they also did a black version of this but not in the one that i went to again same lid and they just feel like super well made and a really nice ceramic material 
and again same company with the coffin label so that was everything that i picked up from home sense on this occasion i have gone back quite a few times and there hasn't been too much added i did get the pumpkin syrups that you all have seen in my previous home sense haul but i feel like now they're just kind of adding the odd item in rather than having a huge collection of things but now the christmas stuff is in and they've kind of moved the halloween stuff to the side which is a bit disappointing so i don't think they're going to be getting that many new things in now i have said that like probably in all my home sets hauls that this will be the last one um i mean i might find more things but i think now this is kind of the end of it because we are in october now and i've heard that they are going to start reducing things so i doubt that they're going to be getting anything more in so I hope you enjoyed this shorter home sense haul. Please let me know if you did by giving it a like and commenting down below what your favourite item is. As I said at the beginning, consider subscribing if you like these types of videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!